Cachaça is the national spirit of Brazil. And what better way to utilize it than in a nice tropical cocktail? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a Florianópolis, a delicious tropical cachaça cocktail. So I'm really excited to give this cocktail a shot. If you followed my channel for any length of time, you know how much I love cachaça cocktails. And if you don't, what are you doing? Yeah, hit that subscribe button. And this cocktail really excites me because I love mixing sweet and bitter elements. And this cocktail called the Florianopolis, or for those of you English speakers, Florianopolis, is a cocktail that combines uh, silver cachaça, passion fruit, Aperol, and fresh lemon juice. It's a simple four ingredient cocktail and I'm really excited to give this one a shot. It was featured on Novo Fogo's website and I, it sounded so good, I was like, hey, let's try this one. So this is a shaken cocktail. We're gonna grab our small shaker. We're going to uh, do one ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. So I gotta cut this lemon and grab our citrus juicer. We're gonna grab our jigger right here Place one lemon half in our citrus juicer. Juice that out. That might be just enough. Almost. Gotta juice the other half to get the little bit remaining. All right, so one ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. We are going to do a half ounce of Aperol. I feel like this is gonna have a beautiful color to it. We are going to do a half ounce of passion fruit syrup, which is just passion fruit puree uh, with a little bit of sugar. And last but not least, we're going to do an ounce and a half of Novo Fogo Silver Cachaça. All right. Now let's fill this up with some ice. Lock our tin and give it a good shake. Pop that open. And we're going to serve this in our Nick and Nora glass and double straining that in there. Oh, look at that. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Try not to spill a bunch of your drink while you're pouring it out like I did. <laughs> but just look at that color. That is beautiful it's a nice light pinkish almost orangey color uh, it's just it's a beautiful cocktail if you have like an edit edible orchid or anything like that you could garnish with it but I'm not gonna garnish with anything at all uh, and we're gonna give this one a little sip I'm smelling it first very fruity on the nose let's give that a taste whoa that is, I need another sip, I need another sip. I don't wanna, don't wanna give my, uh, my opinion quite yet. You know, it's a little, it's a little tart, it's a little bitter. The cachaça does provide a really good crisp body to it, and the lemon is a great acidic uh, addition to it. But a part of me feels like it's just, if you like passion fruit, this is a great cocktail. And I personally like it. I love the tartness from the passion fruit and the, the lemon. I just think it's maybe missing a touch of sweetness to it. Um, like maybe a bar spoon of a demerara or like a, a cane sugar. Um, but maybe that might be overkill, but that's just my initial reaction to the cocktail. Overall, it's really good. Um, I do like the combination of flavors. I just think it could add, it could have a little bit more of a touch of sweetness to give it that perfect balance. But then that being said, it could possibly disrupt the balance of the bitterness with the, the sweet, with the, with the tartness from the passion fruit and the lemon, which is kind of a really, it's kind of a cool thing for it. You know what? I'm gonna give it a third sip just to be safe. It is pretty tasty, I'll give it that. It's, it's, I do like the bitterness because it keeps you coming back. It keeps you coming back for more. It's like you want to keep sipping on it and the tartness is just like, it comes up at the end. So 
I guess in that respect, you wouldn't want the sweetness because you those are the elements that keep you coming back to keep drinking it. Um, so yeah, overall, pretty good cocktail. And there you have it, guys, the Florianopolis. If you enjoyed this video, it would mean the absolute world to me. If you can come on over here, hit that like button. Hitting that like button is a super easy way to help me out. It shows YouTube that you liked it, and maybe YouTube will show me to more people, and that would make me happy. But that's enough for me. I got an amazing cocktail to get back to, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.